morning. Good morning, ladies. We've got some good dish. So, Katy Perry postponing her Witness World Tour due to what she calls unavoidable production delays. Happens to all of us. Damn. Girl, I understand. The tour was set to kick off in September on the 7th in Ohio. It's been rescheduled for September 19th in Montreal. Ticket holders can head to katyperry.com to get some updated dates. The singer said in a statement on Thursday that she'll use the extra time to properly prepare for the performances. She is a planned stop at the Golden One Center here on uh, January 31st of next year. So far, the website shows that the date has been unchanged. We will keep you posted about the landing of the Perry. Uh, patients at Vancouver's Children's Hospital got a special surprise this week. One of the world's most famous pirates, Captain Jack Sparrow, Ew. dropped by to entertain the kiddos. Johnny Depp arrived at the hospital dressed from head to toe in his character from the Pirates of the Car Caribbean movie franchise. He charmed patients and their families alike, leaving smiles and laughter in his wake during his five and a half hour visit. Okay. Good on you, Johnny Depp. Good stuff. All right, friends. A new pop-up museum in Los Angeles is hard to miss, especially with the white Bronco parked outside. It's not the actual white Bronco that OJ was in during his 1994 chase, just that same year and model is what's parked out there. <laughs> oh, this is, wow. This is a little weird to me. I'm just mm. being honest. Mm. Adam Papagon is the man behind the pop-up OJ Simpson Museum. He grew up in the Brentwood area in the center of the Simpson murder case. Two years ago, he turned his fascination into a business, the OJ Tour, taking tourists to the actual crime scene and other spots. The weirdest thing in here, we have three different OJ board games. Squeeze the Juice, where you play as OJ's defense team and try to drain him oh of money. God. And then, of course, there's OJopoly. This is real life, people. Oh my gosh. This is real life. <laughs> All right, so of course, the museum shows some love for those famous gloves and the entire wall of OJ's shirts, including some signed memorabilia. The pop-up museum will be open today through August 22nd. So scamper friends, it's if you want to go see it. Insane. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi may be coming back to the big screen. Yay! The Hollywood Reporter <laughs> says the next film to be produced out of the Star Wars universe will focus on Obi-Wan Kenobi, because he's our only hope. The report says that Stephen Daldry, the Oscar-nominated director of Billy Elliot and the Hours, is in early talks to direct the film about the Jedi Knight. Actors Alec Guinness and Ewan McGregor played the character in the Star Wars original and prequel trilogies. The project so far does not have a script. So somebody call Cody Stark. Yeah. Tell him, now's your time. Get on it. Get on it. <laughs> Get in on the ground floor. You might be able to make it. Yeah. Yes. All right, ladies. That's it. Back over to you. Very good. All right. Thanks, Cora. Well, most of us have been there. You're stuck in a long